Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is the Big Kickup360 here and I've got some massive news for you guys. If you're a fan of GPUs, graphics processing units, or more known as graphics cards. Well, firstly, before I get to this information, uh, GTX 980 information is coming on this channel. I'm just waiting for Nvidia to actually release some genuine information about it. You know, there's so many leaks and all this shit that it's just going to create a lot of inflation on this channel. So just wait, guys. It's coming. Nvidia should be releasing info on the 980 in about two days time so it's coming guys don't worry about it but anyway getting back to the news of the day there has been leaked images of AMD's upcoming R9 390X graphics card now of course as you can see by the picture that I've put on screen right now, this thing kind of looks like the R9 295X2. It's got like the sil, it's predominantly silver based, and it's got you know the red, uh, the red radion, you know, highlights in it, uh, and it's going to be apparently water cooled. Now, of course, this isn't you know confirmation or anything. This is just you know some leaked images. Uh, so. As you can see, you know, it looks pretty nice. The 295X2 did visually look appealing. It looked like a very nice card. And of course, this information is courtesy of videocards.com. Now, as you can see, it looks exactly like a 295X2, except the it's the fan is going to be cooling one single GPU. However, this will also be water-cooled, as you can clearly see by the design. Now, even more interesting news. Acetec in a press release announced that they have secured a design with an undisclosed OEM or like you know a company that you know makes you know anything they've they've secured a design with an undisclosed OEM uh, for a customer or consumer based graphics liquid uh, cooling product now that was that kind of sounded fucked up the way I said it but pretty much they designed or they secured their own design of you know a water cooling solution or water cooling based solution on a GPU so that pretty much matches up with this R9 390X stuff and that makes a bunch of sense now allegedly shipping for this product will start in the first half of 2015 so Honestly, you never know. That could mean that maybe AMD is going to come out with a 390X at the start of next year or maybe March, you know, all the way between January and June, obviously, you know, the first of the month to the end of the sixth month. So, yeah, it's some fresh news. Hopefully, this performs great. I mean, people are going to say, look, this means that AMD can't keep their temperatures down and all this other bullshit. Look, as long as it performs great, as long as it's cheap, and as long as it's just a fucking beast, I don't give a shit. I don't care about how AMD's producing their, th uh, their GPUs or you know, they're having trouble keeping their temps down. If they keep their temps down enough, the GPU performs well, then fucking hell yeah, give me that shit, bro. Give me that shit. People are saying the 295X2, oh, AMD couldn't keep the temps down, so they're gonna have, so they had to water cool it. Well, they water cooled it, they overclocked it, and the thing performs like a beast. Performs like an absolute monster. So, you know, and ob obviously I'm not an AMD fanboy. Look, when <laughs> everyone knows, Nvidia at the moment is they have, how can I explain it? They've been, they've got more market share, pretty much. They have more GPUs at, you know, higher levels, if you get what I mean. Like, they have the 780 Ti, 780 Titan, 770. All those cards are very, very powerful. While AMD, they're kind of, you know, beating around the bush a bit. They're just kind of, you know, waiting it out. So, hopefully, when the GTX 980 comes out, and then not too long after the R9 390X comes out, there's going to be some serious competition between the two. You know, I love NVIDIA and AMD. Both epic people. Epic people. So, you know, we're going to be seeing 980 versus 390X. We're going to be seeing some epic shit. The consumers are truly going to benefit from this because AMD and NVIDIA have really pushed down the price of a lot of their GPUs. The 295X2 actually only costs around 999 now, which is, you know, epic. Like, that's fucking sick. Only $999 for 295X2. Um, I'm, oh, NVIDIA's still got to sort shit out with the Titan Z. Like, ugh. Nvidia is good and all, but that fucking Titan Z, man, that shit is so bad. Like, cut the fucking price down, please. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, it wasn't much to talk about, or there was a lot to talk about because this went for four, uh, close to five minutes. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and comment down below if you're pumped for AMD's upcoming R9 390X.
goodbye. Oh, that was so awkward. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you lads later.